Hey, it's Nathan from InfoGamer, and real quick, I wanted to bring you this updated version of our How to Fix a Broken Canvas video that we put out a few days ago. Now, when we released that video, we got a comment from Beard or Die, and he was helping us to understand that we actually forgot to mention a key element as to why the canvas wasn't working properly. And so that's what this video is. We've taken the original video and added in some clips of us explaining what that key element is that we forgot to mention. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this video, we're going to be doing some debugging. Now, a few weeks ago, we received a comment from P1ST1, and he was saying that he was having a problem with some of his UI buttons, that some of his buttons were working just fine and that he was able to click them and they were doing the function that was paired to them, but then some of his buttons were actually not clickable, and that nothing was happening even when he cursored over the buttons. And so P1ST1 was actually kind enough to send us his Unity project, and so we're gonna look at it and see if we can fix the problem that he was running into. So let's go ahead and open his project. All right, so here's P1ST1's project open inside of Unity, and I'm first going to play through his game without showing too much of it off because it is a work in progress and he hasn't released it publicly yet. And so let's go ahead and hit play. All right, so here he has just a simple main menu and he's got a play button that will randomly select one of the levels, but we can also just go directly to the levels by selecting one of the numbers. And so I'm gonna select level one. And so here we have his first level. Now the problem that he was running into is with his back buttons. So. He was saying that in level one, the back button works properly. And you can see that where if I cursor over the back button, you can see how it highlights. And if I click it, you can see how it takes us back to the main menu. But he was saying that if you go to any of the other levels in his game, that back button doesn't allow you to even click it. When you cursor over it, it doesn't even highlight. And so the button, for some reason is not interactable. And so let's go and look at his project some more. So first off, I'm going to load in level one and we can take a look at his level one. And so we have his canvas right here, which has the back button attached to it. And so this is the back button that actually works. And we can see that as I hit play and as I cursor over the back button, it highlights. And if I click it, it takes us back to the main menu. And so there's nothing wrong with this back button. So let's go ahead and switch over to level two. Now here in level two, you can see that we have our canvas and it's in a different position and the back button and the text objects are flipped so that the back button comes first and then the text object, which the text object just says level two, which is this level two up in the top right corner. But I don't think that the order in these game objects matters because the objects are small enough that they are not overlapping. Now, if we had some sort of UI image that was big enough to overlap on top of the back button, then I could see that there would be a problem with us being able to click the back button, especially if that image was just transparent so that we couldn't see it, but it was still overlapping the button. We would have a problem similar to what we're having but there is no game object that is overlapping on top of the back button. So that's not the problem in that case. Now we aren't getting any errors in the console window and I can open that up right here. You can see that there are no errors even when we play the game, there are no errors showing up. And so there's no runtime error or syntax error. And so it's gotta be something else. Now, one thing that I did notice is that the canvas game object is a prefab and you can tell that because the text of this game object in the hierarchy is blue. And if we go to the prefabs folder, sure enough, there is a canvas game object. Now, the reason why I suspect this is the problem is because all I have to do to fix the back button is create a new UI canvas. And by creating a new UI canvas, we can see that the back button is now working properly. As I cursor over it, you can see that it highlights. And as I click it, it takes us back to the main menu. Now you might say, well, that's really weird. Why does just creating a new canvas from scratch fix the button 
on the other canvas. And the reason why I suspect it has to do with the fact that the canvas is a prefab. So P1, ST1, I'm guessing every time he created a new level, dragged a new canvas prefab into his scene, which for some reason breaks the references of the game object. All right, so here's where I want to interject and explain what those references are. Now, when I made the original video, I knew that there was something not right about adding a canvas prefab to a scene, that there was something missing from the scene that was making it so that the canvas wasn't working properly. But for some reason, I was just glancing over the project and didn't realize what it actually was that was missing from the scene. And what it is that's missing from the scene is the event system game object. So let's go back to the project and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we have the project open and I'm currently in a scene that I have not fixed yet. So here we have the canvas game object and when I hit play, you can see that the back button is not working. And the reason why it's not working, the actual reason why it's not working is because there's something called the event system which is missing from our scene. And so every time you create a new canvas from the create dropdown menu, it will create the canvas, but along with those game objects, it will also create an event system game object. And so if we go down to the UI dropdown menu, at the bottom of this menu, you can see the event system game object. And so here we've now created a new event system. And by hitting play, we can now see that the back button is working properly. And so the reason why it doesn't work when you just drag a canvas as a prefab into your scene is because by doing that, it doesn't create an event system. So it's perfectly okay to have a canvas prefab, but if you do so, you need to remember to add an event system game object to your scene. But that is if you don't already have an event system in your scene. But Unity is actually pretty smart about the event system game object. It'll actually make sure that there is at most one event system in the scene at a time. So if we go to the create dropdown menu and go down to UI and try to create another event system, you'll notice that we still only have one event system game object in our scene. So while creating a new canvas game object will fix the problem because it automatically adds a new event system game object to your scene, that's not the best way to go about fixing this problem. The best way is to realize that the thing that's missing is the event system. And so all you have to do is create a new event system game object. Now the event system game object is something that's very easy to overlook. I overlooked it myself when creating the original video. And the reason why it's so easy to overlook and to forget about is because it is automatically added to the scene when you create a new canvas. And so you don't have to consciously think about adding it to the scene. Now I just want to give another shout out to Beard or Die for leaving us this comment and helping us understand that there was something we forgot to mention in our original video. So thank you for that. And if at any time you're watching our videos and you come across something that you don't agree with or that you think we should have mentioned, make sure that you let us know in the comments below. Now the reason why we want everyone's feedback on our videos about how we can improve is because we're all learning and we're all trying to improve our game development skills. And so if you guys can help us make better videos, then it'll help everyone else become better game developers. So thank you for that. All right, so that's everything that we're gonna cover in this debugging video. Now I know there wasn't actual code that had any errors in it, but it was still an error within Unity and we were able to fix it. So Thanks to P1ST1 for sharing his code and sharing the error that he was getting. We hope that this helps you and we also hope this helps everyone else that has a similar problem within their Unity projects. If you have any other errors that you would like us to cover in future videos and show you how to fix, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Now we won't always ask you for your project in order to fix the error. A lot of errors can be replicated in our own projects. It's only based on whether or not you want to share your project with us in order to fix the error that you are specifically getting. 
If you found this video helpful in any way, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel so you can get regular notifications when we publish new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.